Let's begin with the death of a somewhat good king, a king of Judah. His name is Joash. Second Kings chapter 12, Second Kings chapter 12, verse 19. Now the rest of the acts of Joash and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? His servants rose and made a conspiracy and struck down Joash in the house of Milo on the way that goes down to Sila. It was Jazakar, the son of Shemiath, and Jehoshaphat, the son of Shomer, his servants, who struck him down so that he died. And they buried him with his fathers in the city of David. And Amaziah, his son, reigned in his place. So even for this somewhat good king, there's a huge blot on his legacy. But it's not listed here. He is listed as a somewhat good king, highlighting the sovereignty of God in his preservation of the line of David. So, so the detail of him being buried with David, with his fathers in David's city, is very significant because it almost didn't happen. See, the line, line of, uh, of Judah and then the line of Israel is very, very important. And what you see very often, and it can be very confusing because the, the kings of Israel switch back to back because it seems like one king reigns for a while and then one or two, three maybe generations and then the next king would be the person who comes and kills that previous king. In this particular case, the servants of Joash kill Joash, but they don't reign in his place. No, the son of Joash, Amaziah, reigns in his place. Why? Because the line, the line, the line is very important, and it has to be preserved. Why? Because of the promise that God had given to David, that David's line would be the one that is preserved until the king would come from his line who would reign forever, the Messiah. Yes, and that is exactly, this is exactly the line that Jesus came from. But again, it almost did not happen. What do you mean, Pastor Paul? Joash was the only one left of this royal line. Look, look where all of this begins. Chapter 11, verse 1. Now when Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she rose and destroyed all the royal family. But Jehoshaphat, the daughter of King Joram, sister of Ahaziah, took Joash, the son of Ahaziah, and stole him away from among the king's sons, who were being put to death. And she put him and his nurse in a bedroom. Thus they hid him from Athaliah, so that he was not put to death. And he reigned, remained with her in six years, hidden in the house of the Lord, while Athaliah reigned over the land. Wow. Athaliah, the queen mother at the time, when she saw that her son was dead, desiring to become king herself, killed everybody else or would have, had not Joash been hidden by his aunt. Beautiful, beautiful story of the preservation of the line of David. So that at the, end of the end of, at the end of it all, David's Lord, King Jesus, would be born. God preserves this line. The enemy attacks the line of David. I told you before that when you are hidden in Jesus, that you put a target on your back. You are the enemy of God's enemy. And so expect this life, this life where you live here, to be filled with all kinds of attacks and all kinds of, of stumbling blocks. Yes, it's to be expected. But in the midst of it all, also expect that God will preserve his work and he will accomplish it through his son, King Jesus, in every way that he has planned. He will accomplish the good work that he has planned in Christ to do in you. According to Ephesians chapter 2. So, we can trust in him. In this particular case, yes, that line was almost destroyed. It was whittled down to one. But the one was preserved. 
The enemy can do whatever he wants. In fact, in this particular case, Athaliah, the queen mother, wanted to become king, and it seems that she did reign for six, seven years. But she's not even counted among the kings. At the end of the day, all the works of the enemy will come to nothing. And only the work of the Lord accomplished in King Jesus will last. You can rest assured. So loved ones, I would encourage you today to see the sovereignty of God, the sovereign plan of God that has been work at work in Jesus' life, in his line before Jesus was even born. The same, same sovereignty of God that was at work in the prophet's life, the prophet, of Jer- prophet Jeremiah, before he was born, God chose even the molecules to put him together. And the Bible promises to, to those of you who are in Jesus, Psalm 139, he chose your molecules too. And he is bringing all the pieces together in your life as well so that you might live a life that is honoring to God and is filled with love to him and love from him. I pray that you would live out the birthright of being in the line that has been preserved, the line that flows through Jesus, the blood that flows through our veins, Jesus' blood and his spirit present with us even now. We worship God and praise God, the God who wins. The God who is so magnificent in the way that he wins that he utilizes even all of the efforts of the enemy for his glory. That's the kind of God that we serve. Let's pray. King Jesus, thank you for preserving the line of David to the line of Jesus and calling us into the same line, into the same line, into the same family, into the same legacy, such that the same sovereignty, the work of your Holy Spirit, abides on us as well. As Jesus lived with that sense of calling, sense of providence, Lord, help us to walk into this understanding that your providential sovereignty reigns over our lives too. Nothing happens by chance, and the enemy will not have his way. The sin with which I struggle will not win the day. You will. You have. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. a song, I know it well, a melody that's never failed on mountains high, in valleys low. My soul will rest my confidence in you alone. Hope has a name, his name. Jesus, my Savior's cross has set this sinner free. Hope has a name, his name is Jesus. Oh, Christ be praised, I have victory. There is a light, salvation's flame. Christ undefeated, trampled the grave. See now the cross be lifted high. The light has come, the light has won. Behold the Christ. Hope has a name, his name is Jesus, my Savior's cross. Set the sinner free, hope has a name, his name is Jesus. Oh, Christ be praised, I have victory. Hope has a name, hope has a name.
has a name, his name is Jesus, my Savior's cross has set this sinner free, hope has a name, his name is Jesus, oh Christ be 